Hello, my name is Laura Joy, and it has come to my attention that people do not know how to change a baby's diaper and make their butt clean. So, um, I'm just going to be breaking all of the things I said I wanted to do and, um, or that I said I'd do, and have eaten on another video because, uh, I think this is important and... You know, uh, let's say nobody teaches this, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ian. Come on. Okay. I am not going to show her butt on the camera. I'm just going to have her diaper on and show you a little bit of what to do. Hey, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. Okay. So, get wipes. Might show my butt on the camera. That wouldn't be good. So, just keep that in there. So, I'll save some for later. Make sure we have some with us when we're outside. That's another video I gotta do is, um, Survival bags instead of horses. Okay, so you got the diaper. You take it. You just like undo that part. Here, I'll show you again. Bless you, baby girl. Okay, so it was folded in here. You just gotta open it up. And then um, these are what's gonna strap on to the front part. So, got to open that up because your butt goes on there. And you open up the front part because you don't want that folded in. That's going to tickle a lot. <laughs> okay. So, um, what um, is the best method is to, um, before taking the diaper off, you lift your butt up. Now, you got to be careful because that side your swine head pressure but um there's like this thing in tumbling this backwards roll where you basically go over your shoulder and stuff so you can put a little bit of pressure back there and it'll be okay um but you don't want to just have them on the head obviously at this age they don't have very good neck neck muscles okay slip your feet up and yes, I am holding her feet like like a chicken from the grocery store, but um, it's the best handhold to lift her feet up. And um, I want to have enough slack so that the front of the diaper can go over this side. Okay, so it's supposed to go like that. Okay, and then you unlatch it. Um, take the front end of the diaper and you mm. kind of like wipe this area with this part of the diaper because um, sometimes there's lots of clumps and stuff so you don't want that getting on your hand. Like, I, I'm kind of a germaphobe and I don't really like anything on me <laughs> at all. So I just try to avoid getting going there in the first place. Okay, so um, you do that take it and then um, it's good to have this underneath before you take the top one off because um, then you don't get the ground mm -hmm. on her butt as well as um, um, her butt on the ground. Does, does that make sense? Okay. And then so um, I guess I can show you after we do it how to roll up the diaper so that she doesn't uh well okay so babies will try to go if you set the diaper here especially when they're just getting to be toddlers they're going to reach their hands out get it on their hands and then they like to put their hands immediately in their mouth so don't put it there in the first place set it out of reach <laughs> Sometimes the toddlers um, 
the babies, very rambunctious babies, might even just like turn around, roll around, crawl, and go find the diaper so they can put their hand in it and then put it in their mouth because because babies um do that sometimes. Not all babies. You just spit up, baby girl. Another piece of advice I like to see is like for their face, try to use the softest cloth possible for like wiping stuff off. Like I'm not really supposed to be using this because it's like a blanket, but it's the softest cloth I have, so. That's why I'm using it. Um, okay. If they make a mess, pick them up. Oof. Oh, goodness. And, um, set them somewhere else. So they're not, like, in the mess. The goal, the point of this is to get them out of the mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I should probably just change your diaper now. <laughs> Instead of just talking about changing your diaper now. Oh god. Mom will stop being a butt. Hello. Okay. I think all of life just wants to be mad for some reason. Okay. So... Are we good? <laughs> hey baby girl, mom's just like talking to an electronic device. Yeah, we live in a very awkward world right now. This diaper. is kind of deceptive because this side looks like the side you're supposed to take off but it's not it's this side with the ridges so you take that off and i'll pull it apart like that make sure it's completely out and then it's got to be latched onto this part always this strip in the front it's kind of like a guide to show that it's supposed to align with that um, to make it tighter, um, so I've learned that if I try to adjust both sides all the time, no matter what, it's going to be too tight. So, um, sometimes favoring one side over another and latching it is, um, what what I need to do to make sure that it's not too tight because um, I don't want her legs getting bruises on like this part. Um, okay. It's not it's not comfortable and it's itchy. Okay, in the hospital she told me to when putting the diaper up gotta fold this part down or their belly because her umbilical cord um, needed to dry and fall off and the blood kind of work itself out okay so for wiping you take the wipe and then um I like to make it go over my hands like that so that it's covering my hands because I don't have my hand. <laughs> so do that, kind of take out the slack. How do I do it? Okay. Just like to bunch it up. I'm gonna cover all the exposed parts. Do that. And then go so we wipe down the front of the diaper down and then um back on their butt area under here on 
on this butt area, um, it gets very dry and crusty, so it needs to be um, scrubbed a little bit with a little bit more pressure so that it doesn't stay there and cause a rash. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to take their feet and then that makes sure they're up like that. And if they're having trouble breathing like she was, kind of put their feet down so they got enough room on their chest. And then wipe that way and that way. I move from side to side. And then you got to, for the middle area, just wipe down. And make sure you get everything out. Um, I learned in the hospital for baby girls, they've got this white stuff that's supposed to be there. And not supposed to take it off. It's supposed to, she told me it's supposed to be rubbed in. I don't really know very much about that. It's very awkward. So, moving on. <sighs> moving on to what I don't know. I just say moving on. Okay. So another thing they're going to do is, um, like, let's say put the diaper down here. Well, they are always moving their feet, so don't put the diaper down there. Their feet are going to get in the diaper. If you put it above their head, just above their head, they're going to be like, what's above my head? Oh, this is fun. <laughs> like, I even remember as a baby, I would go for the diapers. I don't remember my motive at all except it was fun to go after the dirty diaper and I think my motive was actually to see my mom's reaction because it was funny. She got so flustered and she was like, no Lord, don't do that. <laughs> The best part of a baby's like head is the, all the peach fuzz. She doesn't have peach fuzz though. She's long red hair still. I don't know how. Okay. So for the dirty diaper, that's a lot of very important part, and I'm a goofball. Um. Okay. All the gross stuff's gonna be in the middle, and sometimes it gets on the side and just excluding. So, you take the diaper, you roll it up from the front side to the back side, and then you get the straps, and you latch it over here, so that the stuff doesn't fall out this way like a burrito. <laughs> it's like, it's latched now, and you don't have it dripping all over the place. I mean, unless it's a juicy one. I don't know. I gotta throw up. Okay. And then you can throw it at the... No, don't throw it at the window. And the trash can. Hello! Hello! Are you hungry, Mungly? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Earlier we were singing, she was like, Mom? And then she was like, ah. Mm? And then, um, then she was just calmly staring and wondering what the heck's gotten in Mom. <laughs> Okay. Since I didn't use this one, I use it for my hands. Is that a fish fillet from McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You know, you stop finish your, uh, making your food too. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna eat all of it. 
I'm an EL house. All the worlds and the dirt in the world, especially the dirt. Down. And if you got like a loose um, wipe, you can unlatch it. But this is gonna be full of poop stuff if it's extra big. And don't touch that part that I just touched. Just fold it down there. Ugh! On the side and stuff. Try not to get your hand underneath because there's the wet stuff. Mmm. Ah! <laughs> French fries. Thank you, me Irish husband. Me Irish hubby. Are you like that now? Have I? I don't really remember. I didn't do it though. Oh. Okay. I feed those in, and I'm American. Your computer's fine.